Hello, good morning students. Now we will discuss the pests of stored grain 2. In our previous video, we have discussed two pests. One is Calisobrucus maculatus, second is Cetophilus oryza. Now we will start with two another pest. Now first pest is Trogoderma granarium. Now coming to the classification of Trogoderma granarium, it belongs to kingdom Animalia, phylum Arthropoda, class Insecta, order Coleoptera, and family Dermastidae. Genus, as you know, Trogoderma and species Granarium. Habits: Adult Capra beetle have wings but apparently do not fly and feed very little. Distribution and status: worldwide. Host range. The Khapra beetle will attack only dried plant or animal matter. It prefers grain and cereal products, mainly wheat, barley, oat, rye, maize, rice, flour, malt and noodles. It can also feed on animal products such as dead mice, dried blood and dried insects. Now Khapra beetle is breeds on from April to October and hibernates in the larval stage from November to March in cracks and crevices. Female begins to lay white translucent eggs on the grains singly or sometimes in cluster of 2 to 5. The eggs are rather cylindrical rounded at one end and narrow at the another. The female lays 13 to 35 eggs in 1 to 7 days at a rate of 1 to 26 eggs per day. The egg period varies from 3 to 10 days and larval period is 20 to 40 days, whereas pupal period is 4 to 6 days. Pupation takes place in last larval skin among the grains. The adult are incapable of flying and there are four to five generation in a year. Fresh yellowish white larva grows 4 mm long and turns brown. The adult is small dark brown beetle to 3 mm long with rectile, retractile head and clubbed antennae. The entire body is clothed with fine hairs. Now, nature of damage, the greatest damage is done in summers from July to October. The grubs eat the grain near the embryo or at any other weak point from where it proceeds inwards. They usually confine themselves to the upper 50 cm layer of grain in a heap or to the periphery in the sack of grains. They can reduce the grains to mere frass. Since the larvae are positively thigmotactic, they can be collected by merely placing gunny bags on the heap of grain. Now look at the picture. Here, fine hairs they are present throughout the body of the grub, that is the larva. And the adult. Now adult is having clubbed antennae, three pairs of legs, elytra is present whereas the grubs they are having fine hairs. Now coming to the second important pest that is the tribolium castanei that is red floor beetle. Coming to the classification kingdom animalia, phylum arthropoda, class insecta, order coleoptera, family tenebrinoidae, genus tribolium, species castanium. Distribution and status worldwide, host range, wheat floor, dry fruits, pulses, prepared cereal fruits such as flax. The young larvae is yellowish white and measures 1 mm in length. As it matures, it turns reddish yellow. The insect breeds from April to October and passes the winter mostly in this stage. Pupation takes place in the floor the pupa is yellowish and hairy the pupal stage lasts five to nine days the developmental period from egg to adult is 26 to 30 days 
rust red floor beetle nature of damage both larva and adult causes damage the greatest damage is during the hot and humid monsoon season the larva are always found hidden in the food the adult however are active creature but mostly found concealed in the floor adult construct tunnel as they move through the floor and other granular food products in sphere infestation the floor turns grayish and moldy and has a pungent odor making it unfit for human consumption so here is the diagram of the floor beetle with three pairs of leg with elytra and the antenna the life cycle it includes egg larva pupa and adult the adults they are infesting the grains i hope the concept is clear regarding the two pests that is tribolium thank you